Yeah. Good everyone. My name is Graphics. Today we are told to reproduce this block in isometric, right? Now we know very well that when you hear about isometric, we're talking about three axes, which is the X, Y, and Z. So I'm going to assume that my axis is at this point here. That's what I want to do. If I extend this, I will assume it's like this. Right? If I place it this way, it means this is at angle of what? 30 degree. And here is also what? 30 degree. Right? So I'm going to replicate this. So I'll be having this axis, this axis, and this axis. So if I do that, this is what I'll be having. So I'll place it. I'll draw the vertical line representing my Y and I'm going to draw the X right which is this that again and I'm going to draw the Z axis which is this Can see that and this axis you are seeing the two axes they are both inclined at an angle of what 30 degrees so from here to here is 30 from here to here is 30 so this is just the zero the reference line so from here to here is 30 degree and from here to here is 30 degree right so I will start my measurement from this point here. So if I move now, let's see. So from this point here, right? If I extend it a little bit here, the total length we are given here is given as what? 70. Right? And the total width here is given as 30 plus 10. That is what? 40. So at this axis like this is 40. At this axis like this is what? 70. So this axis that is 40 is this axis, right? So I'm going to measure 40 there. From 4 to 0 is given as what? 40. I see that? Then this axis here is this axis. And that is what? 70. So I'll measure 70. So from here... To this point here is giving us 70 right now the next thing is this vertical axis here is this vertical axis here this point here where you look for the total heights the total height is given as what 30 right so i'm going to measure 30 at this point here i'll measure 30 so place my comp my rule here and I'll measure what 30 right so once I've done that now I'll now make everything to form a box so if I place my my T square my C square on my T square this way I'll move it to this point I'll draw a vertical line up I'll come here also to this point I'm going to draw another vertical line up to where they meet at this point what I did here right I will also do it here I will draw the way I drew this inclined line here I'll move my C square or my T square to this point I'll draw the other one also to touch this other vertical line right and similarly I'm going to turn it this way so the way I drew this right placing it on my t square i'll move it to this point too i'll draw this so what i used to draw this with the same measurement i'll move it to this point also so that the all the lines will what be parallel now if i turn this this way also i use this to draw this right and i'll move it to ensure that they are parallel i'll draw this one to touch this point so I have brought out this box, this block, right? 
Now the next thing is to bring out this shape from inside. So let's see. Now, if you look closely, we believe that from here to here is thickened, and here to here is here to here, and I'll thicken it. So we're using my meter rule. I'm going to thicken it. You can see that. Similarly, from here to here is thickened and it is from here to here. So I'm going to thicken it completely. You can see that. Also, from here to here is the same as from here to here and the distance is what is 20 so i'm going to measure 20 from here to here and also from here to here so this to this and this to this is this to this and this to this but we'll record that the distance is what is 20 so i'll just measure 20 with my meter rule so from 0 to 2 is 20 right and i will just thicken it right then the same thing to here 20 but with the help of my um t square and c square i just move it to this point right place it on my what on my t square this is my t square here so i'll just move it to that point here right then i'll mark here but if you look at the question very well from here to here is also thickened right from here to here is also thickened and is joined to this other point here then i will now thicken this one here so i've brought this out as shown so let's see again i've drawn from here to here, from here to here, here to here, and here to here. Now, the next thing I'll be doing is this now. From this point to this point is the same as this point to this point, and it is 10. And those points are from here to somewhere around here, and from here to somewhere around here. So, I'll just use my, my C square or my T square. I'll now draw a vertical line this way downward a little bit and I'll come here also I'll do the same thing I'll draw it down a little bit and we are told that what the distance is what is 5 RB so distance is given as 10 so I'll measure the 10 so from here to here is 10 right so once I've done that I can just stick in it so you can see that then I'll use my uh c square or my t square then take it to this point if you look at the question very well from this point to the next point here and they are both joined together and they are ticking so i'll tick in here like this right and also close it up this way like this you can see that so let's see what we have here so I've drawn this, I've drawn this and I've drawn this. Now from this point here to the end of the point is from this point here to the end of this point. So instead of me making measurements, since I've gotten the entire length, I'll just use my T square and my C square and I'll move it to that point here. Then I'll take in from here to touch that line here what we have there right now let's see again so we've measured it from here to here now the next thing is another point from here straight down right and that is 20 but i don't have to measure because i've already measured the entire height and the length 
So from here downward is 20. You can measure your 20 or you can just do what I'm doing now. So from here to here is from this point downward. If I place my ruler now, you realize that it's already there. That is 20. From 0 to here is what? It's 20, right? So I don't have to measure since I already have, I'm working with the actual shape, size, length. So I'll just take in from here to this point. I see that now the next thing I'll do is from here from here to here and from here to here are equal and what are they they are what they are 10 so I'll measure 10 from this point to somewhere around there 10 also from here somewhere around there 10 so let's do that and see so if I measure 10 from here this is 0 and this is 10 right I'll do the same thing too Placing it on my C square, I will draw a line this way. So I will take it since those lines are taken. So placing this on my T square, I'm going to move it to this point. Then I'm going to take it. And close it up. close it up to so I haven't done that the next thing I'm going to do is this now from this point I've taken all these points here I'm taking this backward right and the distance is what if you trace it is what from here to here sending a saying from here to here and that is what 20 both at the top and at the bottom right so i'll go to my to my um drawing so from this point i'll take it backward and i'll measure 20. so moving to that point take it backward here and also here then i'll measure 20. so measuring the 20 i have here This is 20 here, right? So I can easily take in it. That again, and with the help of my C square and T square, using them simultaneously, I will connect this point to this point as shown in the question. Then I'm going to close here up. You see that now the next thing I'm going to do let's see if you look at this point it is connected to this end here right I can easily measure 30 I'll just stick with what I have since I'm using the entire length and the entire height and the entire width also so I'll just connect this to the end of this point here I'll just measure 30 so if I measure 30 both here is equals to here right so if I look at that, I'll just use my T square, my C square on top of my T square, right? Then I'm going to just join the base here, right? I'll just join the base from here to this line here, that is 30, right? and i'll just draw this out too with faint line first you can see that so that i'll be able to connect this without any mistake so i'll connect this point standing my t square my set square my t square this way you can see that before i will now close up this right and also if you look at our diagram again you discover that from here to here is ticking and from here to here is ticking which is from here to here and from here to here so i'll take in there so 
So I have uh, successfully reproduced the block in isometric. And if you have found this video helpful, please don't forget to click on the subscribe button. Thanks for watching.